Okay, so we're going to do new composition from footage and we're going to choose a clip that we have here. So let's just try Bumblebee on flowers here. And you can see it's created a new composition. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to change the work area. So say we want it just a few seconds here. Okay, so you can see with the green bar it's all rendered properly. All right, so what can you actually change with the wiggler effect? Well, we could look at the uh, position keyframes. Um, but I guess in this clip, we're not actually going to be changing the size of it. Uh, if we do scale, for instance. Okay, so let's change the scale. So, so we should say 15 and then magnitude of 4. Let's see what that's done to it. So you can see, I've set it to the X coordinate. So that's sort of like making it move in a funny way in X. Uh, let's try it with the Y coordinate. Okay. Now let's try both. Uh, all the same. We'll try all the same. We've got all the noise type as well. Uh, that actually might work pretty well. This is like a sort of, you imagine sort of like a YouTube effect, this sort of thing. It makes the clip look a lot cooler if you do something like this, right? So yeah, all the same 15.4. I think like, that is generally, so it looks like that. Let's do uh, high frequency and we'll keep the magnitude the same and then we'll do the opposite. So we'll do, instead of uh, do a frequency of 100 per second, already looks denser in the keyframes, right? That could be like a, an epilepsy problem or something. It looks too high. Uh, and then let's try the other way around. So we'll put this back to 15, we'll put that at 100, uh, making sure we actually, so let me just get rid of that. Uh, yeah, that's right, isn't it? I think so. Well, I don't hope, I don't know, that might be an epilepsy wall. I don't think so, right? Um, well, we have a really low frequency. What would that do to this? I wonder. Two and a hundred. That could be quite cool, right? Let's do this as, as five and then have the magnitude as 200. Let's have a look at that. So you can see you're not making a huge amount of keyframes. If we were, I mean, it just so happens the B is right in the middle, but um, it's almost like if we did like, could we do points? Probably, right? Let's do like, let's do one and then 300. Yeah, then you just get one. See, that's actually potentially a lot more useful, right? That adds a lot of value to the clip. Uh, but the great thing about this, right, is that it's not just, okay, I've been messing around with scale. You can do this with, like, everything. What about rotation? Uh, maybe I'll do rotation. Uh, I'll keep the scale on there as well. Uh, just to see what's going on here. Um, so we can do a rotation here. And then put another one there. So it's already doing that. So we could do something with the rotation. You could also do opacity. Opacity would be some interesting effects, uh, like make it a flickering effect. But we do rotation. Um, we'll put one in there. How would that work? I'm not sure rotation's going to... Uh, if I did less than one frequency, I think like if I did the magnitude lower for the rotation, it might actually work better. Let's do just a, if we did like, maybe just like a more subtle effect, right? Uh, may as well see the clip, right? I think that improved the quality. 
Not really. It needs to. It's doing that weird thing with the rendering. All right, we, we won't worry about that. Maybe half will be okay. I think in terms of zooming, it's not bad to rotate while zooming. 